We just left Bennington, Vermont. Had our zero day at the Catamount Motel. Decent place, decent price, nice guy. Uh, we did pass two stations of trail magic uh, and we just got on the trail. So uh, we weren't thirsty and we weren't hungry, but we signed the log book. They were extremely nice people. We are now entering the green mountains of Vermont. Should be pretty. She's pretty. Oh. Here's the view from the tower, but not today. You can kind of see some things when the when the clouds blow through, like back here behind me. You can kind of see something, but it doesn't make me feel very safe. That way. What? Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Now turn. Okay. Is that good? Oh, you're trying to put it on your head. <laughs> She's so silly. Kind of disappointing. Another Vermont view ruined by bad weather. All right, it's about 11.30 at night, it's raining. I woke up soaked, basically. I'm gonna try to show everybody the makeshift hoopla we did. I am now laying in an emergency blanket taco to try to keep the water that's on the floor away from me. The lightning gave me her liner and all my clothes are piled back here and damp so my nemo sleeping pad started springing a leak so i've got got something from rei i got this 
Climate brand uh, ultralight sleeping pad, and uh, it's got a bunch of holes in it. It's like uh, it's hard to explain. It's like a it's like a ladder almost that you're laying on, and all the water underneath me just soaked right through it to me. So same amount of water is under lightning, but she's got like a full sleeping pad, so she's floating above it high and dry, and I'm floating right in it. So we'll try to fix things um, between now and our next stop. Um, I don't know. As for now, I'm just going to have to deal with uh, sleeping with wet clothes in a emergency blanket taco. Good night. So we made it to morning, but as you can see, this is our setup. I had to lay this down to keep it dry because it's totally wet. My body was in that. Lightning side. Just not a very fun night. So, uh, yeah, at least I'm still kicking though. Smaller rock. A tart. We got to the shelter just now, about 30 minutes ago. And it was, uh, it was packed. It was packed with people that, that looked like day hikers or section hikers or something. And it was creepy. And uh, Lightning says it was, it was creepy too. Anyhow, we only had six more miles to go uh, tomorrow and we were headed into Rutland. So we just decided, hey, let's do those six miles today. Uh, we'll get down to Rutland around 7.30 or so and uh, get an Uber over to the hotel and add one more day to our, to our stay. So... Gave Daisy in a call 
managed to have a little bit of service, which is kind of far and few between so far in Vermont and uh, extended our stay for one day. And so we're gonna pull a 20 miler and uh, go into town a little bit early. So good for us, good for me, get some rest. Both of us will get some rest. I don't have to sleep on that stinking pad one more day and uh, we'll regroup and then uh, finish up Vermont and head into the whites. So we made it to the parking lot, but uh, we did miss the bus. The last bus was at 7.15. So we called Yellow Deli and they set us up with a trail angel and that person's on his way to pick us up. And we will have a relaxing few days at the Days Inn. We're at the bus station in Rutland. We're about to hop on a, on a bus that'll take us by the uh, trailhead at the AT. And we're gonna head toward New Hampshire today. So we'll see you there. What's it taste like? It's okay. You know? A little bitter.
<laughs> Goodbye, Vermont. <laughs> Hello, shiny New Hampshire.